The press deserves to be targeted. This is not fun, and it is not funny, and the press does not deserve it. Targeting journalists is not American, and you're targeting fellow Americans, by the way. You know how I keep saying that the media and the Democrats not only want to outlaw political opposition, but also the right to criticize them. This is yet another example of their complete lack of any self-awareness that has become a staple of the Democrat media. In this case, MSDNC's Chuck Todd dramatically spins criticism of the media into the stuff of nightmares. We'll get right back to this media meltdown, but first let me just take a quick moment to thank this video's sponsor, ribt.com guys i know that we all need to constantly replace our t-shirts and underwear because we buy them cheap in bulk and at department stores i'm here today to implore you to consider stepping up to a higher quality immensely more comfortable choice not only are they american made but rib tea is a company that values free speech and youtubers like yours truly if you need new t-shirts and underwear and i think we all know that you do treat yourself and try something that will not only feel amazing and improve your mood but will also outlast anything that you bought from a department store. Head on over to ribtea.com forward slash drone tech and make sure that you use the promo code drone tech to get 20% off most items. If you would like me to give your channel or your website a shout out, simply make a purchase at ribtea.com forward slash drone tech and send me the proof of purchase. Thank you. Axio says, quote, the prospectus for the new project says it's, quote, targeting the people producing the news, unquote. The president's supporters are developing a financial framework designed specifically to target journalists. First off, Axios is a left-wing outlet started by two very well-known left-wing hacks. One of them has made it his mission to go around whining and spinning criticism of the media into something more nefarious, while looking the other way when left-wing groups target right-wing media like Fox News and Breitbart. David Brock, he's the founder of the left-wing group Media Matters, and he described his mission against Fox News as, quote, an all-out campaign of guerrilla warfare and sabotage. At no point during Todd's cringy screed does he even mention these other groups, nor did he ever take issue when Obama attacked Fox News. Come to think of it, Todd was always Obama's favorite little pet in the press corps, calling on him more than anybody else during his press conferences. The president makes a lot of political hay by discrediting the press. They keep repeating this lie that somehow the media was trusted before the dastardly Trump came along. No, I'm sorry, that's not true. The media has discredited themselves over the years by being politically biased deceivers. Todd and the rest of the Democrat Party media must have the lowest opinion of their viewers because it's so easy to just get on the internet and search for polling on trust in the media and see that it's been plummeting for 20 years. Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes says he told her why. He said, you know why I do it? I do it to discredit you all and demean you all so when you write negative stories about me, no one will believe you. Every once in a while, a moment of honesty from the president, that's serious. Really? That sounds a lot more like something a comic book villain would say, not Trump. It sounds like something she just made up or loosely based on something Trump did say. Since Todd wants to bring up this Leslie Stahl interview from 2018, how about when she said that Democrats assume the press is on their side and feel betrayed when the media criticizes them, which is probably why you never see the media criticizing Democrats. Democrats think that reporters are on their side. They expect reporters to be kind to them and gentle. They expect it because they assume we're liberals and we're going to be in, on their side. And when we're not and when we're tough, they, they, they feel betrayed. Why are these people so afraid of criticism? Why do they see themselves as above it? Chuck Todd is being deceptive in this very piece by suggesting Trump is the reason that people don't trust the media. Remember this man? His name's Caesar Sayoc. He was sentenced just last month for mailing homemade pipe bombs to both prominent Democrats and several media figures. And Sayoc's campaign of terror happened before there was an organized effort by the president's allies to target, defame, and character assassinate journalists. 
one nutcase out of millions of supporters. One nutcase that sent a bunch of devices that never could have detonated. Seahawks campaign of terror. Unlike the hardcore Democrat who attacked a group of GOP senators playing a baseball game and almost took out Steve Scalise. That guy was a big fan of MSNBC and Rachel Maddow, yet for some odd reason Chuck Todd doesn't think that's relevant and clearly isn't applying his standards to that incident. And you know what? None of that has anything to do with our right to criticize and discredit bad actors posing as objective journalists. Organized efforts to target and character assassinate journalists and discredit their reporting happen in places like Russia and China. Organized efforts to target journalists should not happen in America. <laughs> In Russia and China, real journalists are in prison and even assassinated, while criticizing state-run propaganda is outlawed and can result in the same consequences. Nobody is stopping any of these media organizations from spreading their propaganda, and in fact, it's them who are trying to silence us. I'm going to close on this clip because it perfectly demonstrates the complete lack of self-awareness I was talking about at the beginning. Organized, well-funded efforts to discredit opposition media was made normal by left-wing groups like MoveOn.org and Media Matters. Of course, when they're going after MSNBC's business and political opposition, it's completely different. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. And while you're at it, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you all for watching. Keep coming back.